Hi everyone, Lori from Art Lore. How are you today? Uh, today we're going to do a 12 by 24 gallery wrap and um, I get it from Michaels and I have my pillow down already. It's the PPG Multi Pro uh, from Home Depot. And I saw Karen do uh, a linear blowout where she where the paint is done linear and the cell activator is done linear and I fell in love with the results. So that's what, they're going, what we're going to do today. We're going to uh, blow that out and then we're going to spin. It's very fluid. Uh, it's really pretty. There's not a whole lot of cells, but there's some cell action going on on either side. Um, you can get negative space. Um, I haven't so far, but um, I think it's because I've been putting too much paint down. So today I didn't do a whole lot of paint up there. So anyway, let's do this. Let's get down to the canvas. We're going to make a mess and uh, we'll get to blooming. Okay, so colors are, uh, this one here is, um, oh, let's see, it's brown. It's Van Dyke brown and burnt umber. Um, I wanted a really nice brown and um, I don't have a whole lot of this left. So we're just going to use it up. And I don't really, you know, want the brown to take over anyway. So this is fine that we don't have a whole lot left. Um, brown, this for me, brown does tend to take over a little bit. So, um, yeah, so we're good. That's good enough right there. Okay, next up is uh, this pretty orange. And I've used it in a couple other pores. I just love it. Um, if you haven't checked out the color art um, uh, pigments, you really uh, should. They're very friendly to work with. They're um, beautiful, beautiful colors. Uh, this is persimmon, but I added in a little bit of uh, burnt sienna. And then I also added in some vermilion. And the vermilion, I think, was a Lucas and the, uh, the burnt sienna was uh, Liquitex. And I wanted it to be um, kind of a, have like a little bit of a brownish, uh, rusty tone underneath. Um, this one here is light olive green and then I added white. And I'm going to add a pretty good amount of this on there and I'm going to go around um, only because um, I've used this color palette on a smaller canvas and it didn't show up. Um, so we're going to do that. Almost out of my gold, which is the Deco Art Extreme Sheen 24 karat gold. And then I added just a bloop of uh, Amsterdam uh, deep gold. And so now we have two empty cups. This one here is uh, El Crimson Alzarian. I, I, don't, I don't know if I'm probably killing that name, but that it, it was very, very pink. And uh, Karen's uh, color was not nearly as pink. So I ended up adding Quinacridone Magenta, which is what she did to make her beautiful color, and it still didn't do a whole lot. So I added a little bloop of um, Bordeaux by Arteza and I got this really pretty pink. I don't even know if it's close to her color, but what the heck, you know, it's pretty. So why not? Let's do this so I can use up all my colors except for the green. I've got a lot of green left. Um, we're going to put a little bit of this orange on top of the pink and we might as well just shoot this all around and that way We've used up our paints and they didn't go bad. Okay, oh my gosh. All right, so here we go. Cell activator, which is the Aussie Flow Draw, three to one with the Amsterdam Oxide Black. Okie doke, here we go. All right. Low, medium, medium high fan, cool air. All right, here we go.
Okay, looks pretty good. Now here, I'm going to try something. See if I can get some more cells in there. If not, then I'm going to Take it out of there. Okay, that looks pretty good. So, lots of cell action going on here which is great. I actually might get a little bit of negative space. So um, because I have some white here, I think what I want to do is take out some of this color that got blown in there. I need to clean off my spoon and add some white. And that way, maybe that will encourage it to be negative space. Clean that off. And then grab some white. There we go. All right. I don't think I need to add paint, but we'll give it one little spin and see. And then if I do, then I can just add a little bit of white on the sides there. So let's do this. Let's just do a baby spin. See how much, I don't want the paint to fold over itself. And I think I see it doing that on the corner there. So I think I am going to add a little bit of paint. So let me just pause for a minute because I don't want to bore you with that. I'll be right back. Okay. We're ready to spin. I just grabbed a bunch of paint that was on the table. And if I have to add white, I will, but at least the paint's not going to roll over itself. So let's just do this again. We're just going to go baby spin. Baby spin because we don't want it to spin off the table or off the spinner, off the table, and see what happens. Um, I'm not actually liking that right there where I put the white. Um, I think I need to, I'm going to, let's try something with the dryer. Okay. Just 
should have put this on a bigger my bigger spinner but I got one spinner dirty then on the other spinner I'd have to clean that one and clean this one and I don't really have time for that but live and learn should have made time for it okay let's see what's looking what it's looking like uh, not bad uh, don't like this don't like this so let's go this way oh don't get on my nice painted fresh wall Okay, that corner is coming off. Not a whole lot happening with that one side. But I may have to fuss with that a little bit because I don't like it one bit. So let's see what we have here. That's better, but it could go a little bit more. Um, Stick your arm in it. Okay, let's do this again. That's better. It's not so uh, negative space. Um, it's coming closer to the edge. I may spin a couple more times off camera so I don't bore you with the spinning, but that's, that's way better. But this is gorgeous. This is really pretty and that flows very nicely there. Uh, not real wild about that, so I'm going to fix that. And let's see. Didn't like that point. Better. And I don't like this right here. Well, that one died. Okay, there we go. I had to do that now. Um, this is pretty, it's really pretty. I'm glad that corner came off. That looks way better. 
this is better. It's not perfect, but it's better than what it was. So let's take you down and show you the results. That's really pretty. The gold is shining through very pretty. The orange and the pink look really pretty together. The cells are super cool. And that gold is very, very shimmery. Very pretty. Here's the, here's the area that I'm not wild about, but if I touch it anymore, I know I'm gonna really, really goof it up. Um, I love this little guy right here all by himself, right there, that little cell. Super cute. These cells are really pretty. And it works itself up to the top. And that corner came off, and I'm happy about that. So there it is. Thank you so much for joining me today. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give me a thumbs up and subscribe and like my channel. That would be greatly appreciated. And until next time, I hope you're all doing well. Enjoy the rest of your day. Bye.